Ijumbe is a very special place to us because this is the only um, village in Hoima district that is affected by the two pipelines. That is the East African crude pipeline and the multipurpose pipeline. I'm Edwin Mumbere. I work with the Center for Citizens Conserving the Environment. Uh, we are a non-government organization that is seeking to transform environmental policies in Uganda. The East African Cool Oil Pipeline comes in uh, in a way that it's going to destroy all these natural resources because they are trying to pave way for the pipeline. They have displaced people who, have, who also still have complaints with the compensation. The government of Uganda has really um, shown, us, has shown us the citizens of Uganda that the East African Cool Oil Pipeline is, um, is a symbol of development, that we are going to develop a lot. We should expect a lot of money to be channeled into several sectors of the economy, which is practically not true because it is actually putting us in more poverty because the areas in which the pipeline is passing are actually leaving the project affected persons more poorer than they were before because they have been displaced and the compensation has not come in your time. Secondly, there are some things you can't compensate in life and on planet Earth. You can't compensate soil fertility. Pipeline, I like a guapara. No, no, no. You come send the major meja. If you don't send the moko, you go and get parango. If you talk guapara, you do. A team of kodeshi, a team of kodeni gin moko nyango. I don't, I don't get the angry ringe. I'm going to send the pipeline in my own para. I'm going to send the team and I'm going to go to the full. You come send the nebera na no angogo. Tuje tu vole kivine vintu. Government vereja owanyo muka. Niyo muraba bantu vokuvanza ukujigambira nti nimeenda sola. Niyo muraba bantu vokuvanza ukujigambira ba kendeze bay ya sola. Niyo muraba bantu vokuvanza ukugamba ba lete sola nungi mu Uganda. So we came into Kijumba to try to show the project affected persons that there's an alternative that we can really advocate for and request our government to bring into our communities. Ati wiri kare nandi kuvi, wiri nandi kuvi. Konka buti ndahe mbetara, nyowe na familia yangu turi rahere mere nituweza kurunji, nitu taha mungu kurunji. A nyuma hoha hija gani njoo kadi enda na kutete matuta yugen. Konka ati anabanja njoo kadi hija tu yirebe hati turi kurunji. Taka tunji resora, nari ndi kuvi, wahe mbwa na hema ga itochi. Omiri magundi kubi, chonka hati, ogomu ampere sora, dekurala mumatara, abana barikwe gakurunji mchiro, bakashoma, abantu bachejumba, kubona sora tu ashemerewe, abgo kuba ziri asete badu hiri, tikuwa tu basa kugulambo sora, chonka hati mwazi tule tera, mwatwe jesa ukutura basa kubi kora. Kuayega, ukotura taha matara, ukotura taho sora. Kuayeje sana ba na bi tu familia yona, bona bari bara bi mani rachim. The women in Kijumba have learnt more about solar. The women in Kijumba have learnt that we have other alternative energy sources which the government of Uganda has to avail to its citizens through reduction of taxation through making these technologies accessible and having good quality uh, solar products on the market. Uh, the women in Kijumba are now able to install, they are now able to advocate for access to renewable energy in Uganda. Kwa yenzile na wandi, na wabali mwabachari kubi, na wabali mwabachari kubi, na wabachari mwabachari 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 mwabachari